Hey Tikis, okay today we are doing a many inspired by my Navajo white Howlite ring from Indian Harper. I just love this ring so much. It's, oh, anyway, let's get into it. I really hope you like it. Now the polishes we're using are from China Glaze. The first one is Community and then Cushio's 2AM in Hollywood and the white base that I'm using is Verona Lace also from Cushio. You're also going to need a Ziploc bag. And that's pretty much all you're going to need. Now this could not be easier. Start off with a white base, let it completely dry and then come in with your colours. I'm using a dotting tool to put the colours onto my nail. I'm using the white as well as you can see. But you can use the brush from the polish, polish bottle as well. Now once you've put your polish on your nail and in no particular order, get your Ziploc bag and then smush it. And that's pretty much it. You just smush it. Now I'm only coming in with a second lot because I wanted there to be a bit more white on this nail. Now I top coated this straight away because I'm using Sesh Feet and Sesh Feet does tend to dry through to the layers, uh, through the layers of the polish. I don't know why it does that but it does and I love it, I love it so much. Uh, but if you're not using Sesh Feet I would suggest you wait for it to completely dry. And again on the next nail you want to repeat those steps and just have some fun this creates virtually no mess which is really weird because you're smushing a heap of polish all over your nail and you'd think that there'd be lots of mess but there just isn't it's great now on my index nail i decided to concentrate with the colors of the polish on the one side on just one side of my nail as you can see and so I put a lot more white on one side and then the colors on the other side just so that it would only be on one side of my nail and that's it I really hope you like this one it's one of my absolute favorites to be honest and it's such an easy thing to do so let's get into the question and answer portion of our video okay so first question is from Quinn Carlisle Scott Quinn asks, what is your biggest nail art fail or where you just made a mess everywhere? <laughs> well, you should see my desk. Anyway, I would say it would be my very first water marble. It was an absolute fail and I was just so disheartened. I think it took me months to go back and try it again because I was like, how, why, what, why, why won't, why won't it work? Why, it works for her. Why doesn't it work for me? <laughs> I was like literally thinking that they were magicians or... I don't know. But anyway, I went back and it worked the next time. So, yay. <laughs> and I haven't looked back since. I've been practicing ever since. Now, the next question is from Kiwi. Kiwi asks, are you going to change your nail shape anytime soon? No, I'm not. That's the short answer. I really like the nail shape I have right now. And I suppose if you find something that works, you should stick with it. <laughs> so I'm sticking with it. And the next question is from Witchy Kitty. Uh, Witchy Kitty asked two questions. Um, would I possibly do a nail room tour? Yes, I'm going to do one as soon as my husband puts my shelves up. Because once that's done, I'll be able to get everything organised. And I'm really looking forward to doing it, actually, because it's going to be fun. Uh, and also, I do you use drugstore brands like Revlon, Simple Colours, Pure Ice. Uh, yeah. Yes, I do. I use uh, Simple Colours. I have a couple of Revlons. Um, I have a couple of Pure Ices, not very many. But um, yeah, I f favour China Glaze OPI and the Indies that I have. I really love them. A lot of the Indies are really great. Okay, so next question is from Sidra Sloth. Oh, Sidra has stained her nails with red hair dye because she didn't wear gloves. There's a listen to you. Um, I don't think it's bad for your nails, but uh, I've got the feeling, and you're probably best to ask a hairdresser this question because I'm not sure what's in hair dye, to be honest. But I think it's probably going to be that you're going to have to grow them out. You can use maybe some, there's a, a like a bleaching thing you can do with baking soda and toothpaste, I think, a combination of which. I think you'd have to Google that. Um, but yeah, you, you may have to let it. Uh, grow out which is really unfortunate very sorry that happened but definitely when Nick wear gloves next time oh that's just awful I'm so sorry for you next question is from Rhea 
and in Tapia, Rhiannon asked, do you ever want to work at a salon? And the answer is no, I don't. I like painting my own nails. I do paint other people's nails every now and then, like my family and friends and things like that. But I, I wouldn't, wouldn't want to work in a salon. I'd just be worried I'd be stuffing up people's nails and I wouldn't want to do that. So, yeah. Next question is from Katie Lovejoy. Uh, Katie asks about gradients, about advice for doing gradients. The biggest piece of advice I have, or I actually have two, uh, is when you've put your base colour on, so like a, maybe it's a white or something like that, put a top coat over the top of that and then let that completely dry. Then get your sponge and you can either choose to wet it or not, it's up to you. But the main thing after the top coat over your base colour is to not dab uh, on your nail too much before reloading your sponge because as your sponge dries or as the polish dries on your sponge it actually gets tacky and that tackiness is transferred to your nail and then that's when you can get little bits of your sponge on your nail and you can also um, end up pulling up what you've already put on so you don't want to do that so reload your sponge often and quickly two quick dabs on your nail then reload your sponge now Katie has a second question and that is in relation to anyone who has shaky hands when doing fine detail. Now I don't have shaky hands so I don't know and it depends I suppose where that shakiness is coming from as well if it's from a pre-existing condition or something like that but I find when I do um, get really really fine coming into doing something really really fine I find it taking a deep breath and just sort of trying to relax my shoulders a lot um, does help a bit. I hope that helps. And the last question for today is from Elizabeth Adele Leggett. Elizabeth asks, if I wasn't doing nail art, what would I be doing instead and why? Um, I'd probably, like to be honest, be doing the same job I was doing before and that was really boring and not very fulfilling or anything like that. Just like I said in uh, one of the answers to one of the questions in the video previous to this one find something you're passionate about find something that you love to do and then figure out how to make a living out of it you will not regret it like mm, so important but you know if you can't do that that's fine too find something to love about the job that you're in i suppose and that's it for this video's Q&A session. Thank you so much for all of your questions and thank you so much for all of your lovely comments. You are so beautiful, inside and out, all of you. Just love you guys so much. Like seriously, I do. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. Thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.